everybody, this is Praxis and uh, River is just closing up the chicken run. They've been doing really well in this uh, mobile chicken run. Uh, this is the one behind you that is going to be attached up over here. Uh, the issue is I've got to move it and it's kind of hard for one person to move and there's no other adults capable of moving it here with me. What we're planning on doing is taking this one, bring it out to the driveway, bring it up around the back side of the house because there's just more room to move it and we're going to be bringing it right over here to this situation right up here. It's eight feet by eight feet and they're going to have access to all these plantains and uh, honestly this is not the best ground. There's not really a lot of uh, uh, plant activity going on right here although there's these pretty little magenta things, whatever those are, that are going to get, it almost looks like a flax plant, I don't know. But it's going to be situated right here and I'm just about done with the, the coop on the inside. So let's go in there and uh, see what it looks like before I fill the whole thing up with their, their bedding material. It's right up here behind you. We're going to pop right up inside and I'll just sort of show you what I've got put together here. All right, so as you can see, we've got uh, black plastic all over the floor. Hopefully that'll make it easier to clean and uh, mites and things like that won't have quite as easy of a time getting a foothold in here. Uh, it's all black plastic all over the, the bottom. I've got this, uh, it's an old peat moss bag that I've got to cover up what is sort of the windowsill of what's going to be, you know, our window later on after the coop is out of here. Temporary piece of plywood here. The door is right here, and I've got two doors. There's the automatic solar one on the outside, which opens and closes. And I've also got this one here, which I can manually close if we want to say, for some reason, it's daylight outside and the solar one has opened. The solar one keeps not opening all the way. Uh, but let's say the solar one's open and for some reason we don't want them to go outside. I've got this that I can slide in here and uh, that'll prevent them from going out. And for the time being, without the chicken run even being out there, uh, this is going to be uh, in place so that they, you know, they, they can't just uh, go outside and get killed by some, uh, some wild animal. In the corner over here, this is the only other feature that is of any particular interest. Uh, there's a chute right here where I'll be able to push all of the, uh, well, the bedding, once it's all disgusting, down uh, into a chute, which will go down into a bin, and we can take it outside that way. I think that'll minimize the amount of dust that gets kicked up. And I've got this little thing. It's got uh, this finger to kind of keep it from sliding around. The finger just sort of locks into that slot, and that makes it so, I mean, it can kind of come out, but, you know, it's pretty pretty solid in there. The uh, bedding material that we're using is this uh, Coop Clean. Uh, I kind of like it. It's got a little bit of food in it. There's some seeds in it that the chicks were going after earlier. Uh, so far, so good with it, and it, it seems to make a pretty nice uh, you know, compost material for afterwards. I'm not sure how much of this I'm going to be filling in here, but I, I think I'm going to go for kind of a nice, you know, I'm just going to dump the whole thing. I'm going to go for a, kind of a nice thick bed so that they, uh, well, I don't know. I, I've just seen a lot of, you know, videos on this topic that having a nice thick bed of this stuff is better than having a thin one. I don't know, like a poop can kind of trickle down through and dry so they're not uh, walking around. No, there's a technology called a knife that I could use to open this bag up more, but I'm not going to bother with it. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just going to fill this all in. <coughs> Maybe next time I want to wear a respirator when I'm doing this because there was a lot of dust. And the only thing that's left to do before I can put chicks in here is to get a door in here, some kind of rudimentary door. I've just got a piece of plywood. <coughs> oh, oh, God. Yeah, a respirator would definitely be a good idea here. Fortunately, it doesn't have, like, chicken poop dust in it. I don't even know if one bag's going to be enough. I do have another bag. Oh, my God. Oh. Kind of dusty. So I'm gonna leave, let the dust settle, and then I'm gonna come back. Thanks for watching.